Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now in my last couple of videos, if you've been keeping up and you are a subscriber, you know that I've mentioned a few times that I was going to actually delve into my witchcraft stuff. Well today we're going to talk about something that's you know does pertain to witchcraft, but not used as much in witchcraft, but there are witches have been known to actually use spirit boards or Ouija boards as they're called. Some people want to call them Ouija boards, okay? Me, I prefer to call them, as it's pronounced, Ouija, okay? But this one here is, in fact, a spirit board. Don't get me wrong, they are, in fact, the same, uh, pretty much the same thing. It's just that through time, the names have changed to what they are called in modern times is now called a Ouija board. But way back in the day, they used to be called channeling boards, uh, spirit boards, as you can see here, uh, talking boards. There was many different names for them, and they've gone through some changes. Uh, Parker Brothers, way back in the early 1900s, actually purchased it and um, purchased the copyrights to it and actually created the actual Ouija board. Uh, I believe that's how it went, and it's been synonymous and more of a game board, if anything. Now, keep in mind, I will tell you this, I'm not a big fan of actually believing these things actually work, though there are some YouTubers out there that claim they do work, but if you're smart, you can see right through that kind of stuff. Uh, some, of that, some of that stuff that they actually try to convince you that it actually does work, uh, it's not as believable in my opinion. I'm very pessimistic when it comes to this kind of stuff. I would love to actually see it actually happen, but in a good way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but as far as I can see, I don't think these things actually work. Uh, there's many different ways of actually looking at it. Uh, they say it's kind of reflective uh, when you're moving the actual uh, planchette around the board, that it's all in your reflexes and stuff. There's many controversial situations when it comes to these things. But anyway, we're going to talk about my spirit board. I chose the spirit board over the Ouija board. Now, like I said earlier, they are in fact the same. They just got different names. That's all they are. They actually work in the same way. But I chose the spirit board because of the way it looks and stuff. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. As you can see here on this box here, which I'm going to try to pull back here. You can get a kind of an idea of what it looks like here. The board does look very similar to what you're seeing here. And I'll show you the board here in a second, okay? But that's the front of it. It's from Nemesis now. Now, when I ordered this, I actually ordered it through Wish.com. And in most cases, 90% of the time, you're getting stuff from China. So you figure it would take anywhere from three to you know, four months, depending, when it goes through customs to get to your place and stuff. But when I ordered this, this actually came within three days. So Wish in themselves is very similar to Amazon. They are connected to other stores, especially here in the United States. This came from uh, Florida. And I think Nemesis now is actually from Florida. So they actually make all kinds of uh, spirit boards. You might want to check out their website if you're into uh, collecting spirit boards and stuff like that. But this was a very cool looking design. And I'm going to show you what the planchette and everything looks like. But anyway, let's just get a good look at the box in itself, okay? All right, so now you can see now when I show you the board, it's going to look pretty much the same, okay? Except for a few exceptions, okay? Okay, Nemesis now, okay? Use with caution, okay? Now, like I said, it does say spirit board on the board. It doesn't say Ouija or Ouija, okay? All right. Other side of the boxes here is a nice brown tone, okay? It's all the, it's the same all the way around, okay? Now, I do have another channel. It's called Giant Monsters and Beyond. I have a lot of my witchcraft stuff on that channel. I did it a long time ago. But since this is a brand new channel, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, start from scratch pretty much, okay? So that's what these guys look like. Now, the back of it here, it pretty much, you know, it tells you what's on. All right, I'll let you read it. If you want to stop it and go ahead and read it, it's got some interesting things when you, when you read it, okay? But anyway, this is what she looks like on the back, okay? It's a very cool looking spirit board, and I'm going to show you here in a second, all right? But that is what she looks like. I'm going to pull back here a little bit, all right? All right, enough about the box. Let's move into the spirit board. 
Now I have it on a tripod. I can get this around here. Gotta reach it first. There we go. Now this in itself is what she looks like. I'm gonna pull it back so you can take a look at it, and then we're gonna take it off the stand. Uh, this is actually a picture frame type stand. Uh, I needed something. I just didn't want to lay the uh, board on a shelf or anything like that. Uh, because I don't have that much room in my room so I wanted to use this as a display for obvious reasons it looks fantastic okay and here's the planchette okay now I know a lot of you probably already have this particular board okay um, and some of you've seen it on the internet it has got a very cool looking design now I don't know if you can actually see it but it's got a um, like a Pitted pattern or something like that. Let's see if I can actually move it in so you can see it. Don't know if you can actually see it or not, but it is a very cool pattern. The design is is amazing on this thing. And as you can see, it's fairly thick. The board is fairly thick too. It's not made of cardboard. It's some kind of compressed wood or something. More like an aspenite. Well, not an aspenite, but like a fine dust, almost like. Um, particle board but it's really compressed it's really heavy but anyway that's what the back looks like all right and that's the planchette now I do have a blog I am in the process of uploading everything on it right now it's called supernatural and beyond it's got all kinds of supernatural stuff on it if you're into that kind of stuff witchcraft uh, supernatural Halloween it's got everything uh, that pertains to it but right now I'm still in the process of uploading everything but that's what the planchette looks like now there are some really really cool looking planchettes out there that literally have crystals in the center of them or an all eye see seeing eye that you can actually raise it up and look and you can actually see the ghost and stuff or the spirit that comes from the board uh, there's a, a few movies that pretty much show you that I think there's Ouija uh, the original Ouija and then there's another one that came out after that those two movies I can't remember the name of that one where the little girl is actually uh, possessed by uh, the, the spirit or Zozo and that's a really good movie I like those two movies they're really good I like Ouija movies or Ouija movies okay all right enough about that let's get into the board okay now as you can see it's a picture stand okay and it's actually perfect for what I want to do and I've displayed this right on my shelf so it looks cool along with my I have two mummies I sit on each side of the board all right so let's pull it back here so you can actually see it and then we'll move it in close so you can actually see the the patterns of it all right again nemesis now okay now you'll notice the pattern on the background of the Ouija board it's got a kind of like a dirty feel to it it's really cool looking all right, and as you can see, the planchette is very similar to the one I just showed you. Okay. Okay. Now, because this board is so big, I'm gonna have to kind of flip it on its side, so you can actually see what it looks like here. It's got some very cool designs to it. Same with this side here. All right. Now you can see the thickness of the board. It's fairly thick. Like I said, it's a it's a hard board. Now there are some Ouija boards that are actually rectangular in shape. This is a perfect square. Now, there's many different ones out there. People actually hand make these. I was actually in the process of actually buying one uh, through I think she's called the Crafty Witch, but I never really got around to doing it. She she makes some pretty impressive ones. She used to be on Etsy, but not anymore. Okay, but this is my spirit board. Now, to understand what the spirit board is all about and the letters and the numbers and stuff like that, um, like I said on my blog, it explains all that stuff and the information is out there on the internet if you truly want to understand the function of the board itself. Uh, witches actually use this on a rare occasion, but most people, they want to delve into it and they, you know, they want to claim they made contact. Not 100% sure if there is actual proof out there. Um... Because, you know, like in most cases, this stuff don't seem like it's real, especially in movies and stuff. And with today's technology, anything is possible to be created in that way. 
but anyway, long story short, it would be cool if you can connect to them, but at the same time, it could be a bad thing, okay, if you don't know what you're doing. All right, but anyway, that is my Ouija board, okay? So I just want to give you guys a heads up on this because I'm going to start doing stuff based on my witchcraft stuff because I have been collecting that stuff. I'll leave that right there for you. And here's my plan shit. Now normally I just put that right here if it don't fall on me. There you go. See? It is that simple, guys. Okay. That is my Ouija board or in this case it's called a spirit board. It's, they're also been known to be called, way back in the day, they were called talking boards, channeling boards, um, there were other different names to it. Uh, it was amazing how many different uh, names they had for these boards, but they all work in the same way, okay? Uh, pretty much just, you know, you connect to the other side and talk to people. Now, like I said, whether it works or not, uh, there's no real definite proof out there. It's just a bunch of YouTubers. Every time, every so often you'll see one, the board will flip or something like that. You can obviously know that's not really real, okay? Uh, because they can always rig it so it can do that. But anyway, long story short, these are very interesting. If you want to know information on that, like I said, there's an ungodly amount of um, research out there on Ouija boards, or spirit boards in this case, um, if you truly want to get an understanding of it. There's also ways of actually handling these things. Uh, if you ever want to get rid of them, you can't just burn them or throw them away. Because apparently, according to the movies that I've been seeing, you really can't get rid of them unless you do it properly. Okay, uh, There is information out there. It shows you how to do that stuff. But anyway, this is my spirit board. Okay, And I will be delving into my other stuff. I do have an apothecary with all kinds of jars and athames. I got um, some... Um, smudge sticks i got all kinds of stuff that i collected through the years we'll talk about all that stuff i got rune stones i want to get some divination stones i'm going to get some of those things i think they're pretty cool looking um and i got some other stuff too so we're definitely going to get into the witchcraft here a little bit but like i said on my other channel it's called giant monsters and beyond i will leave a link down below so you can go ahead and check out the witchcraft stuff and the other halloween stuff that i had on there because that channel's been up for about 10 years now, so I've got all kinds of stuff on that channel. This one is a brand new one. It's not even probably four or five months old. I've already got a hundred and some odd subscribers, which is good. It's impressive for the first time opening it up. There's a lot of people out there actually like Halloween and horror stuff. And I've got an ungodly amount of uh, figures and Halloween stuff on this channel. Most of it is consisting of that. My masks. Uh, like I said, now we're going to get into the actual witchcraft and stuff, and I'm going to show you some other stuff that I do have, like my mummies. Uh, we're going to touch base on everything here, guys, okay? But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, because like I said, I'm going to be working on some more videos, okay? But this is my spirit board, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you ever want one, you can order it through wish.com, or you can get it through Amazon. Uh, I got mine for like 20 bucks, I believe it was. Maybe a little bit more, not positive. It's, I got it a few years ago. But anyway, I like the looks of it, so I said, I got to get that. So I went through Wish.com. So I figured, like I said, I had to wait a couple months, but it came in within three days. I'm like, holy crap, that's quick. And then come to find out, they're actually stationed in Florida. Okay, guys, you have yourselves a good day. All right, bye.